Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about the difference between the X sheet and the levels. Because I've seen a lot of our new users on of Open Tunes be very confused about this. Just a quick heads up, I have sinus issues right now, so my voice might be a little scratchy. Hopefully it will hold out for the rest of this tutorial. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just make a new level. I'm going to do a raster level and call this G because I don't think I've gotten to G yet. So we have G and you'll notice we have a little uh, we have a frame over here and we have a frame over here. This is our for those who don't know this is our level strip. This is necessary. You should have this level strip. Um, I'm in my animation tab which I have set up with a viewer, a palette, a level strip, an X sheet, and of course a toolbar and tool options bar. So one thing you might notice is you can drag this out as much as you want. You can have as many repetitions of the drawing one as you want, but over here in the level strip you still only have one. If you make a mark on one it stays on anything marked with one. But if you make a number two over here, first of all, it's going to be red. Because if you look over here, you don't have a second drawing. So you have to add frames and add a second frame. And now number two is blank, where number one still has your drawing. Because this drawing is blank. Basically what the X sheet is, is a map for what OpenTune should look at when it's choosing which frames to show. This level strip is a set of drawings. If you go to browser, or actually first let's go ahead and save this. Uh, we'll call it Tut. Um, go to browser, go to, uh, I think, extras is where this would be saved. And show folder contents. You'll notice that basically what I've got here is draw is pictures. Those are from an earlier animation I did. Here we've got our little swirly that we did and notice G002 is empty because we don't actually have anything on layer 2. So basically what the X sheet is doing when it's looking at this is it's looking at this level and deciding what information it's supposed to show on here based on these numbers we've got. Now how does this help us at all? Well for one you can go to a new level down here have a D say no, and you can have two levels on the same one. This can be very helpful if you're changing emotion for example say I want this swirly thing on my second level. Let's just go ahead and move it sideways. Now I have that moving that way. And say I want that to repeat. I go ahead and draw this out. And now, oops. Um, one, one, two, two. Four. Now I have it going back and forth. But say I wanted it then to go up, but my my level here, I don't want to add a new drawing because for some reason I'm using it in another program, or sorry, in the, I'm use, say I'm using this drawing in another um, another project, and I need it to only go side to side and not have any more frames. I can take my second layer here, uh, go ahead and turn on onion skin. and say I want it to go up now I can copy this or you can copy the frame either way works paste it onto here and I'll pull it upwards and we're gonna actually copy the frame here copy and on here we wanna insert paste uh, keep original palette. 
And now we have both of these frames in here. So we can go two, two, one, one, two, two. Now if we watch the whole thing, go on side to side and then up to down. This is also helpful if you say need a different palette. Like if for some reason your palette's changing, I don't know exactly how I'd um, demonstrate that because I haven't done a lot with palettes. But basically that's how it works. It's a little confusing at first, but if you think about it this way, this is a slot for you to put one of these drawings. And actually you can illustrate this quite well. If you go here, you can drag and drop. So each of these each of these cells is just a slot for a drawing from the level strip. The level strip is where your actual information is and it's what you need to pay attention to when you're editing things. If you edit this one here, you edit number one, it's going to edit on every number one because it's just looking at frame number one, except over here we have a new level so it's only it didn't edit these ones. So every one on the G level has been edited with me moving that. So that's it. Um, I hope that was straightforward enough. I hope that you guys were able to learn something from this. If you are still confused and have questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. If there is a specific tutorial you'd like to see in the future, please let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys are interested in seeing. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to comment and subscribe.